Hi, I'm Dr. Kendra Kerisk. I'm the project leader for Future Dairy. Future Dairy is a project that's been looking over the last seven years for um, at the challenges that farmers will face moving into the future and specifically looking at the reduced availability and increased cost of land, labour and water and the automatic milking research that we've been doing particularly fits into that labour and labour and lifestyle modules of the project. We're really excited to be involved with the Dornoff family um, and, and their installation here on Gala Farm. We, we developed a, what we called a pilot farm support group to allow the Dornoff family to have access to the expertise and skills that we have within the Future Dairy Project to ensure that as they face challenges throughout the, the development of their, the farm system here that we can help them out with those challenges and, and help them to get to their end targets. The challenges that we have with incorporating automatic milking systems into Australian and New Zealand commercial farms is that our farms tend to be pasture based and they tend to be much, much larger herds than we would typically see overseas. So the herd dynamics and the pasture based system combined create farm system challenges that we really need to address it through our research and through um, extension of those research results onto, onto farms. In Australia there's currently 16 commercial farms that are using automatic milking systems which is well behind what we would see um, in, in the European countries and some of those earlier adopting countries. I think predominantly the reason for that is that in Australia and New Zealand the challenges that were associated with, with pasture based farming meant that we really had to get our head around how we would do this on farm before we started to allow this to be adopted in a commercial sense because we needed to be sure that farmers could be successful in, in incorporating this into their farming systems. The Future Dairy Program started seven years ago and with regards to the automatic milking module of that we really were looking to see if we could incorporate the automatic milking systems into a pasture based farm and, and get enough um, voluntary cow traffic to achieve good good milk production but one of our key focuses was whether or not we could achieve high levels of pasture utilisation and that was really important to make sure that the, the profitability of our farm systems weren't eroded if we were to move into an automatic milking system. So that was the, the first focus of our research. Then we moved on into um, an installation testing and co-development phase of the automatic milking rotary when, um, with, with De Laval. and. With that, we were really the the beauty of being involved in that was that we could make sure that the that the equipment was suited to Australian conditions, and and in particular we could really drive that voluntary cow milking, the, the voluntary cow traffic, which we thought was really important to allow farmers to capture the full benefits benefits of the technology on farm. Moving into the future, um, we're we're now at a phase where we're we're back into the farm systems research, and and looking at some of the challenges that farmers will face with an automatic milking rotary with regards to larger herds, um, feeding those herds, minimising walking distances and, and some of the herd dynamics that will, will come into play and really looking at what the impact will be of using this technology in a, in a batch milking sense versus a voluntary milking sense um, and, and some combinations of those. So really looking at the, the on-farm application and, and what the, the true potential uh, the, sorry, and looking at what the real benefit on farm is going to be when, when farmers incorporate this into their systems.